Hello watchers! Today, due to popular request, we were taking a look at how you can use the step recording feature within Reaper in an accessible way. Step recording is another way to record your MIDI data into Reaper. I've done a video before where I showed you how you can program your melodies by using the pitch cursor within the MIDI view. And today we'll be taking a look at step recording where you don't have to actually play the melody as fluent as you'd probably do it if you are an experienced piano player, but you are recording it step by step, each note at a time, and end up with a finished piece. And all the upsides and downsides will be covered in this short video. Let's not wait any longer. We will see us after the intro. So as an introduction, let me tell you that this seems to turn into a video series kind of thing. So I won't go over the very basics like the grid again, or how you actually create a MIDI item. So I really recommend you to watch the video that I did on how you can program beats with the help of the pitch cursor without even having to touch an actual MIDI keyboard or other MIDI instrument. I will link that in the video description below and in the info card. So let's go ahead and watch this video before continuing with this one. If you're an experienced Reaper user, however, and you know how the grid is and how it actually works already, then feel free to continue watching this video right now. So we are in front of a empty Reaper project and what we need to do first is create a MIDI item. Of course, that's the other thing that you need to do here. And contrary to recording the actual melody, we always need to have a MIDI item with the appropriate length beforehand. So we need to figure out how long our melody should be, create a MIDI item first, or if you're actually doing this in a real life scenario and you don't know how long your piece is, you might actually end up in a situation where you have to lengthen your MIDI item after creating it initially. So we know how long a piece is going to be because we are going to compose Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star again today, but by using step recording. So we know, just like within the other video, our melody will be four bars long. So we start at bar one and we have to go to bar five again and create a time selection. So let me do this real quick here. Set selection start. Let's skip to bar five. Bar two, bar three, bar four, bar five. Let's end this. Set selection end. And let's create a new MIDI item. By edit views, insert sub menu, alt plus media file, in new MIDI item, shift plus INFGN. Shift plus insert. Unsaved project repo v one untitled MIDI item bar one. Let's open that with control alt E. We have to once again go into the MIDI editor here. MIDI tape, untitled MIDI item dialog. There we go. We've got the empty MIDI item in front of us. And you need to obviously have a MIDI instrument here. I'm using an M32 by native instrument, complete control keyboard. You have to have this enabled within the Reaper preferences, obviously, and everything set up correctly. If you're struggling with that already, let me know in the comment section below. I can definitely create a video guide where we guide you through the setup process of setting up your MIDI keyboard or MIDI instrument within Reaper properly so that you get to this actual scenario where you can actually work with your MIDI instrument. Now, however, all we need to do is enable step recording mode. And that is done by pressing the context menu key. The context menu functionality is triggered on a Mac by pressing the odd equivalent key on the Mac. I'm always confused this between command and option. And the numbers one, two, three, and you need to press the one. I think that's how we invoke the different context menus. We need the very first one. So that's what you need to do here. Context menu menu. And we use the down arrow. File sub menu F. Edit sub menu E. Navigate sub menu N. Option sub menu O. There, we want to go into the options. Sync editor transporter project transport check S. And now let's use the up arrow. Customize menu slash toolbar. C MIDI editor mouse modifiers. M. Use all MIDI inputs for step recording check U. That's what we want to have, and it's checked already in my case, so this is basically a toggle and will even stay remembered after closing Reaper, if I am not entirely wrong here. So make sure to disable this or you will end up messing up several MIDI arrangements if you don't actually want to record something by just playing a note. Like, you know, sometimes I have to reach over my keyboard and I accidentally hit some notes and they will get recorded and mess up the entire arrangement. So make sure to disable that whenever you don't need it. Well, it is toggled, so I will just press Alt again to close this menu. MIDI tape, 
Untitled MIDI Item Dialog. And now we get into the business of step recording. So what step recording basically is, is it waits for your input on your MIDI instrument and record it by using the grid length as the length of the node that you're going to input. Other information like the velocity is actually recorded. So you don't have to mess around with changing the velocity afterward. If you trigger your nodes in the correct velocity, then everything will be fine and you don't have to mess around with manipulating and humanizing that much afterwards. So that's definitely an upside. Let's demonstrate this. We have the grid set to quarter by pressing the four again. Grid quarter. And we want to record Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, right? So we'll start with D sharp here. I pressed it two times, so we actually record it to two notes. And I happen to press the key at several different velocities here, so that we can figure out that the step recording actually works the way that I described. So as we've done before in the video that I've just mentioned, we will now have to play this note here. And continue the ride. And now we are in a situation where we will encounter a half note, right? The next one is not a quarter note, but a half note. So we will have to change the grid. Let's press the two for half note grid up. and play the next note. It will automatically be a half note. And as you might have noticed, Reaper will automatically, without even saying anything, advance us within the project so that the next node will be inserted at the appropriate position. If you, however, don't want Reaper to do this or you want a longer break, actually, you want, for example, have the node inserted at a half node, but you want a longer break here, you can use the usual grid navigation commands like Alt, Shift and the arrow keys to navigate through the project and as soon as you play a node, Reaper will just insert it at the position where you actually are within the project right now. So feel free to navigate around, get to the position where you want the node to be inserted and play it in step recording. We just record it and insert it where you were within the project and it will just move you along the grid. So now that we've entered the half node, let's change back to quarter node Quarter. And continue the piece. And here we are again at the point where we have to input a half note. But let me show you something. We don't need to change the grid all the time. If we want to stick with the grid that we have right now, quarter notes, but we want the next note to be longer, we can use the control key together with the number row to just change the length of the next inserted node without actually changing the grid, which can be kind of helpful. So let's do this here. Let's press control two instead of just two. Length up. Now the next node would be half, although the grid length is set to quarter still. Let's play the final note here. There we go. We've recorded the entire piece. We can now use left and right arrows to scroll through our melody. There we go. Let's just press space to play. There we go. I've actually added some small variation at the end of the project. That's basically how it works. It's really no magic happening here. You just play the note that you want to be recorded. Make sure to set the correct length within the project before actually playing the note by either setting the grid or the next note length to the appropriate value. And after you've actually set the next note length and you want that to reset to the grid length, you just press Control and Backspace. Enable set length for next inserted note. Grid. There we go. That will just enable the option and reset the length to the grid length so that they are in sync again. And you can continue by just manipulating the grid. It is that easy. Just go to the position where you actually want your recording to start, play the notes, make sure to set the length, and that's it. The obvious downside is that you need to have a MIDI instrument and every wrong note will be recorded as well. So you probably, if you're not entirely sure what you want to play, have to manually edit 
your melody afterwards to get rid of the wrong notes. You probably have to navigate the project a bit to get back to where you want to continue recording and everything. That's more of the downside of this entire procedure. But apart from that, it can really help if you are kind of familiar with your instrument and you are better navigating your instrument and playing the notes actually listening to the melody instead of scrolling through the notes within the pitch cursor all the time that was a rather short one i hope that helped you anyway and feel free to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below the video and let me know what you think about the video or if you counted a situation or me saying anything that you didn't understand so that i can clarify in the comment section or even create a separate video about the topic so that you get a deeper insight in how creating music with reaper works especially in an accessible way if you want to get more insight into my daily work as a musician and everything else that i'm doing then feel free to follow me on twitter you can find my handle within the video description thanks for watching the video until next time bye